so I'm going to prime my half with uh, L'Oreal Magic Lumi. And this makes my foundation really glow, which is something that I like sometimes, not all the time. For foundation today, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And this one is in the shade NC30. And I'm just going to apply this all over the face. And I love how this foundation applies. I love the coverage, so that is why I'm going to use it today. As you can already tell the difference, one side is uh, pink free and discoloration free. For my under eye circles, because they are so awful, I like to conceal them with a concealer and this one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer. And I'm just going to apply that right underneath the eye and this is going to go on in a triangle shape or an upside down triangle. And then I'm going to apply it on the sides of my mouth, just on the half of the nose and on the half of the forehead. I'm also going to apply that on the jawline. With my damp beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and blend everything away. And I'm also going to apply that onto the eyelid and this is going to help uh, cover any discoloration and veins that I do not want shining through. I like to set my foundation and my concealer with a powder, either pressed or loose. Today I'm using my pressed powder by MAC and this one is in the shade NC30 and I'm just going to apply that on the areas that I applied my concealer. Now with a sponge provided in the kit, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing but this time I'm going to make sure I press it right underneath the dark circle area and this is going to make it last longer and it's also going to fill in any spaces that the brush missed. I love full eyebrows and nice arched eyebrows. Problem is I don't have enough hairs to do that with my own eyebrow so for that I use the help of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Soft Brown and with an angled brush I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Once the brows are filled I'm going to set them in place using Give Me Brow by Benefit and this is in the shade Light Medium. This allows my eyebrows to stay put throughout the day. A tornado can come and destroy everything but my eyebrows. To sharpen up my eyebrows, I like to take a concealer and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows so they look more sharp and more prominent. For the eyes, I love Dance the Tides by NYX on the crease and I do this because I want a deeper crease and a more defined crease. I love my NYX Jumbo Pen and I use this to cut my crease and I love the consistency of this and the effect it gives to my eyes. Next, I love applying some super rich pigment onto the eye. And today I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Party Girl in Looking Good. It's super pigmented gold. And then I'm just going to apply that all over the lid on top of where I applied the NYX Jumbo Pen in Milk. Once the eyelid color is on, I like to take a cool tone taupe eyeshadow and just drag it on top of the cut crease that we created and this is going to give that more deep and super strong effect. Now I'm going to blend everything out. Another thing that makes my eyes really pop is eyeliner and it makes them look bigger and longer. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black and an angled brush I'm going to go ahead and just do my wing liner. Next is mascara and I'm going to use any black mascara for this. Next I'm going to apply my favorite lashes which are the 111 by Ardell. I'm just drying it with my bare fan, yay! Apply them on the center of the eyelid and then I take the outer corner and I connect it to the lash line as close as possible. And then I take the inner corner and I connect that as well to the lash line as close as possible.
Once it's drying, I take any nude liner, I apply it to my bottom waterline and this makes my eyes appear a lot larger. Now taking the same Dense the Ties by NYX and a square brush, I'm going to apply that on the bottom lash line and I'm going to really smoke it out. Now I'm taking taupe once more and I'm also going to apply that on top of the brown shadow. Now taking Cottage Cheese by NYX also, I'm going to apply this in the inner corner of my eye and this is going to be my highlight. Now for extra flawless under eye, I'm going to apply my Locket Tattoo Foundation by Kat Von D in the shade Medium 52. Because I am pale once more, I'm going to take Give Me Sun by MAC and this one is a bronzer and I'm just going to warm up my face. This gives the illusion of a slimmer and more sculpted out face. If you have a double chin, you can contour that chin and it will appear to disappear, if you know what I mean. I'm also going to drag that along the neck because I want my face to match my neck. Always, always, whatever you do to your face, you do it to your neck and sometimes your ear. Next, I'm going in with Margin by MAC. I'm just going to apply that ever so lightly on the apples of the cheeks and lightly drag it upwards towards the cheekbone. My favorite makeup part is highlighting. We're going to apply that on the highest point of the cheek. Lightly drag it towards your temple ever so lightly. I'm also going to apply that on the top of my eyebrow and I'm also going to apply that underneath my eyebrow as my brow highlight, the nose, also on the cupid's bow. The eye, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my favorite lip liner, which is Bodley Bear by MAC. For lipstick, I'm using Blushing Beige by Maybelline. Any nude gloss will do for this. And there you guys have your power of makeup. that is it for this tutorial you guys I hope you enjoyed and all I want to say is embrace who you are and if that is a person that wears makeup go right ahead and be that person that wears makeup makeup is such a powerful thing I know people use it as a way to transform themselves which is completely fine with me uh, for me personally I use it to enhance my natural beauty and just to make me feel good and it's not that I don't feel good when I'm not wearing makeup but I just love when I wear makeup I'm obsessed with makeup I love makeup and I love what it does to me and if other people want to transform themselves let them be let me be let everybody be this whole makeup controversy out here it's so stressful honestly I'm never stressed and that is because I don't care about what other people do with makeup. I do my own thing. I'm in my own bubble and I'm happy with who I am and I'm happy with how much makeup I wear. I'm happy with this and whatever makes me happy, that's what matters and, and let everybody do their own thing. All I'm trying to say here is that there are no rules to makeup and people can do whatever they want with it and just deal with it. Honestly, that's it. Just let them be and that is all I'm going to say today and as always thank you for watching and I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye!